Now I would I would have this honor to call on the dais a personality of South Pole who is known to everyone, who has contributed a lot and who have lots of projects to his shoulders, is a real contributor, a negotiator, and a scholar and a thinker of South Pole, the soil of the South Pole. We are proud of him. He has been he has been doing many things, many important things for the South Pole. Well, one of them is the South Pole International Airport. He has been the key mental investor, investor of that particular project and many others. May I please welcome on this day, on, with, with a round of applause, Dr. Muhammad Asanda. I was invited there as a guest and the, when the chief guest came in, he put that responsibility on my shoulders, you know, you take over. So it was uh, fairly embarrassing for me to come, uh, to go there as a guest and then to behave and talk as a speaker, because you have to be mentally prepared to, to say a few words. That's very important. And particularly when you are talking to the students, you have to be very careful. The young people are very analytical. They watch the speaker on every angle. Uh, they form an opinion. And, uh, and that's also very important. Today, everything was very fascinating. Um, the deliverance, the, the way Mr. Badarmi expressed it, himself and showed what we saw here. It was really fascinating. And uh, a proper, very proper introduction of the newer techniques of learning and boost of our business. 30, 40, or 50 years back, Shalpur was also a, at that time, and the culture has not changed. It was a cottage based industry. At that time, one typewriter in an office was sufficient to open a company. So, and today, internet or computer is sufficient for a young man in childhood to, to start with. So it is not something new. The technique is same, but now you have access to information. I was thinking when uh, Mr. Shriv was uh, telling the flood of information available uh, just by clicking. When I was doing my PhD during the 70s, 75 to to gather information, to collect as a student of science, I had to gather information. And it was really cumbersome to sit in the libraries for hours together. And, uh, and many days, I used to sit there for four, five, six, seven days, and I could find a couple of references. And today, the flood of information, which is available to you, you can make very much. The only thing you have to do is to work hard and work very hard. Work, work, and work. Only then you can succeed. And uh, there is always room on the top. Remember what? Whenever you are studying or you are doing business or whatever you are doing, you should be that there is room on the top. When you grow bigger, there will be room and plenty of space for you to rise up. To go down, you will find very less space. You can see your feet on ground. But when you see your horse, it is up to the sky and even more. So it was a pleasure listening to you. And uh, I, I wish this uh, your